Whether you're just starting out with recording or you've been doing this for decades, Pobody's nerfect, nobody's perfect, and sometimes there are timing issues, even with the best musicians. So when that happens, you've got two choices. Something's a little flubby in the timing. Uh, you can ignore it, and that's a valid option. Or if you say, hmm, I would just, I would personally like to fix it. Fixing it is also an option. I'm going to show you specifically how I would fix, identify and fix a timing problem in a real session. So this is a song that I recorded just recently with my band. We've just done like the, the tracking day. So we did drums, bass, I recorded guitar, and then I recorded an overdub. So we had double guitars. And as we listened down at the end of the day, we were happy with everything. Uh, but there was a, a part right at the end where something felt flubby, like somebody wasn't quite in time. I'm going to play it back with the metronome going so you can hear it and um, see if you can hear it as well. So the the part is the guitars are going down, 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 and the drums keep playing, and the guitars go down, 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 and the final one goes down, down, down. It's a super complicated part. Um, but here's that last. This is kind of the outro of the song. See if you can hear it. You hear it? Something right there on that last dare, dare, dare. You want the last, at least the last riff of the song to be real tight. But something was, something, something went awry, as it were. Okay. First thing to do is, is, this is a, by the way, this is a high level, like, production and mixing principle. One of your biggest jobs in the studio as the person running the machine, whether you by yourself, you're in a room with a band, is one of your jobs is to figure out where the problems are so you can solve them. That may sound like overly simple, but right now, all we really know is something's going on here. I suspect it's me because I it seems like it's always me, but it could be somebody else. We got to identify the problem, then we can solve the problem. So let's listen one more time. Okay. There was a guitar that did not hit with another guitar. So these are the two guitars. We can... This one was a scratch track. We can hide this one. Um, okay, we can see here that guitar hits differently. These are stereo tracks, but this chukka hit differently. Something hit differently there. We can see that visually. Um, on the this is just like palm muted parts. Bass looks like it's on. It's hard to tell visually. So what do we do? Let's start muting things until the problem disappears. So first, let's just mute out my guitars. Let's see if it still sounds okay. Yeah, that actually sounds fine. I thought maybe there was something with the drums. This guy toured with Keith Urban, so it's not him. Um, yeah, I thought this little flam, is it a flam? This little flam hit here? He's a, he gets a little off the beat, but it's in a cool way. Um, he's a little ahead of the beat here, but it's fine because we're all kind of together. And then he and the bass player are annoyingly together. All right, they sound together. So it must be the guitar player. Let's see, is it both? Was I consistently bad or was it just one? Let's listen to just the left guitar first. Something with that palm mute was a little weird. Let's listen to the right one now. Oh, yeah, it was that one. Made some sort of mistake. Came in, I think, early. Let's listen to it just with the... Just now, let's listen to this. We found the problem, child. Let's listen to it with the click. And I'm going to put it up the middle just for now so we can hear it clearly. I don't, know. I don't I don't know what I did. But it was supposed to be da na na. So the second da na na sounds right fine. So I think it's really just this first part. So we're gonna figure out how to solve this. And I'm gonna use the simplest tool available. I'm just gonna cut it up and fix it. Or 
I could record it again. I could go find another take and steal from it to get this one right. But I'm going to try just kind of see if I can slice it up and make it work. So let's listen again here. So it really, the let's check with the bass. The bass starts here. He starts playing right there. And he is slapping away. So what we're going to do, I'll use this tool right here. I will make a marker. Shift Y, by the way, brings up this to insert a marker. And we'll call this hit. Okay. And so now I've got this marker just showing me. This is where the bass hits. And we don't hit with the drums here because we're hitting on the and and he hits on the one. Um, so I got to hit with really just the bass. So let's go take a look. Okay, now this guitar, that's fine. It's just this section that's weird. We can see it's 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 it goes. I really wanted it to do what this one did, which I think is just palm mute through there. Yeah, it was supposed to be a muted down strum and then an unmuted up strum. So even if we fix the timing, this one goes, I thought this was going to be about timing. It's actually just about, I played it wrong. It's not really a timing thing. It should be just a palm mute. So what can we do? Well, we've got a palm mute here. What if we just move it over and just copy it over here? Better yet, what if we hold down command and option, which would be control alt, I think, on the PC, and we just drag this over so that it's just, there's a palm mute here now. It's just this one we just dragged over here. What does that sound like? That seems like it works. Maybe a little. Seems like I'm a little ahead of the beat mostly. We'll just move it to match the way I'm ahead of the beat over here. That works. There's a little bit of a clip in the audio, I think. So I'll just um, press X to give me a crossfade on either side. And that should work just fine. Yeah, that works. Now let's put this one back over to the right and let's hear everything together, see if we fixed our problem. Okay, let's get the other guitar in there too, sorry. He wasn't playing. Way better. Thought it was the drums. I literally, literally came in here to prep for this video and said, ha ha, he hit something wrong on the drums. It was me. So the, the two lessons here, A, that's how you can just slide audio around very easily to find and fix issues. If it had been the drums, what I would do, I would hit this button. I've got the drums in a folder. I'd hit this button to group the drums temporarily. So now when I click on one, it edits all of them. I would hit S to solo. If I really wanted that flam to hit closer, I would separate them like this and I would slide it over. And I would adjust this edge a little bit. And I would adjust this edge a little bit. So the middle of that flam is right on that downbeat or that, whatever, beat three of the measure. I'd press X to crossfade and it would probably work just fine. Gets it a little tighter in time, but turns out that wasn't really the problem. If we go before and move it back to where it was with a bunch of undos, it was mostly fine. Yeah, it gets a little ahead of the beat. So yeah, I could potentially tighten that up the way I just showed you. That's how I would do the, that's what I thought this video was going to be. Turns out it was the guitar and we need a different kind of editing trick here. Um, but the lesson here is find the right problem. And if you suspect it's you, just go ahead and just double check to make sure. And turns out this time it was me. But just a quick moving of that over to give me a previous note. Worked out just fine.